eventually I confessed it to her and the reply you was confess not really for a conf- confess to her. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop me in that. Aya! Welcome back to another episode of Zula Answers. I'm Brenda. And I'm Bolin. And in the last episode, we talked about relationship dilemmas, right? Ooh. Today's topic will be bring in the friend zone. Whoa. Something that Bolin can relate to. Hey, no, no, no. Sure. Be, okay. okay, have you have you been in a friend zone before? Like seriously speaking, have you been in a friend zone before? Not really. Like, okay, wait, not really as in you always get the girl or like once they say, once they reject you, then you just don't become friends. As in like, oh. we are quite close, we are not very close to begin yeah. with. Then once I confess, then, hey, no lah, like, actually I treat you like a normal friend, uh. you know, I don't see us that way, you know, things like okay. that. But I know, you know, point one, so I just back up. Then after a while, the, the friendship just becomes stale, you know. Uh. Because there's always this awkwardness there. Yeah. Uh, for me, a bit different. So you, I. You definitely can relate. This is this episode is for you. What do you mean? Shall we jump into the confessions? All oh, right, let's jump. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's jump <laughs> into the confession. Okay. <laughs> confession one. Guy best friend treats me specially, but rejected me. Oh. Mm. Hi. Oh, so polite. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Just wanna share, cause this has been bothering me for a long time. I'm in my mid-twenties and have loved my guy best friend for many years. We were introduced by my ex-boyfriend who's his friend. Oh no. And got closer cause we went to the same poly and spent a lot of time together. No wonder he don't want to be with you. Wait a minute. Oh my god, this is, this is so... No wonder, I already know the answer already. I don't know whether he ever had romantic feelings for me back Cause he admits he treats me specially like delivering free bubble tea to my work and home Sending me home and picking me up after drinking etc Whoa. Whoa, okay picking me up after drinking I, I do associate like picking people up after drinking to be like more than friends kind of situation I think to pick you up after you drink, after you you know have some alcohol It's either you really trust that guy a lot or that guy is really close to you to be able to you know take up that role and definitely more than just a normal like really yes. platonic friend he also introduced me to his parents <gasps> oh, so other than that he introduced to um he introduced some of his close friends to try to help me open up and meet new people when i talk to his friends most of them tell me they suspect he has feelings for me but he won't admit it because of the special way he only treats me and shares his secrets with me what wait i'm confused so uh, basically she go back so won't admit because they suspect because of the special way mm. he treats her. Yeah. Okay. He also still brings me to his meetups with friends and work gatherings. We support each other emotionally and go out a lot though he's busy with work. It's obviously a, a sign, I feel. Cause to think... bring someone to a work gathering though, I feel like there is no need like official, but there's some sort of like special feelings. No, I, I feel why you bring to a work gathering though? Well, he directed me a few years back when I confessed to him. We both stayed single since then. I tried going on dating apps, but it never worked out because I know I still have feelings for him. Mm. I think he's tried dating too, but he says he has no time and interest now because of his job. He claims he sees me as a younger sister. That's why we are so close and he takes care of me. Lies. We both don't talk about romance. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold up. Why lies? Why lies? You have experience? Yes. Mm. I have uh, a few friends, right? Suddenly, because they are single, then they kind of talk to me. Hey, Bolin, uh, recently there's this guy. I remember, blah, blah, blah. so they were just saying, no lah. I just treat you like a younger sister. But actually, deep down, the guy actually wanted to sort of chase her or sort of make people like him. Then from then on, he choose. <sighs> Respect to the basically the the options thing lah. That's a full blown plan, right? Yeah. We both don't talk about romance, though we are very comfortable with each other and can talk about anything else. Having long conversations every day. I don't dare mention dating because I'm scared to ruin our strong friendship. So I need to ask advice, what should I do now? If I let go, how to get over your best friend? Firstly, uh, mm. we have to define what's your meaning of best friend. I think the definition here a bit a bit off. Mm. Then second thing is we have to know like what is his true motive. La. Yeah, correct, correct. I think right now his action, I mean I have best friends, female best friends, right? That what they, they are best friends, we can we can talk very well, we can, you know, we can hang, we can just discuss a lot of stuff. But it's still within the lines of best friend. It's not like she'll do something that oh my god, wow, is it my best friend is my girlfriend here, you know? It's not it's not to that extent, you see. Honestly, 
I feel like through this story, there's a lot of indications that show that the guy best friend actually likes her. But he obviously mm. like values the friendship more and he doesn't want to jump into something more than that yet. Because like, I mean, friendships don't end, but relationships do. If you want to just stay as friendship, right, then do what people do in a friendship. Mm. Not doing something that what people usually do in a relationship. I think that's a bit off la and you're now giving people like mixed signals and yeah, stuff it's, yeah. it's them it's not good it's, you, you are now sabotaging your own situation what should she do now so I do think that despite all this right the fact that maybe uh, let's say he really has feelings for you and he mm. still doesn't want to tell you right it means something uh, I feel like it's really a sign to move on yes legit it's really like he say, okay, there's this part that says he claims he sees me as a younger sister and I think you should take it word forward. I think it's a sign for you to just take a step back mm-hmm. and get over this best friend. And how to get over this best friend is, wow, it's another story. Um, I would say you really need to not talk for a while for you to actually um, get over the feelings. Because the more you talk to someone, right, it's less likely that you will lose feelings. One. You will just keep catching feelings until Correct. you cannot already, then Correct. you'll explode. Well, this is going to be a very bold move mm-hmm. but I feel like she needs to tell him that she has feelings for him and they need to discuss from there if he's not willing to move forward and like you know um, make it official or like try dating at mm-hmm. least then they need to have a cool off period okay, okay so I, I last time I had this like I would say not really best friend but it's a guy close friend I didn't have feelings for mm-hmm. him mm-hmm. and then after that he moved on and then he got a girlfriend mm-hmm. then I realised like oh shit I like him. You know? That feeling, you know? So when he got a girlfriend, we were still like friends lah. We were mm. still talking. And then his girlfriend wasn't very comfortable with the fact that he was still contacting a girl that he used to have feelings for. Mm-hmm. So we isolated ourselves from each other. I think the, the moral of the story here is that like how to get over your best friend, especially a guy best friend, is to really you need to isolate yourself and get used to like being by yourself and like learning more by yourself first. Because I feel when you are alone by yourself, right, you have a clearer mind. You are not clouded by emotions. Yeah. So you can yeah. have better judgment. Okay, confession number two. Is he interested in me? Mm, or is like a reading story like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it mean when a guy treats you really well but is chasing other girls? It means that this guy is a T <laughs> <laughs> By well, I mean like, you know, pay for all my meals even though I insist to go Dutch every time picks me up and drives me home so I don't have to take MRT even though MRT is more convenient <laughs> Yeah, oh, since we live at the opposite sides of Singapore, okay. that's why, okay Takes me to experience new things and step out of my comfort zone Take care of me and ensure my safety when I'm outside But yet, whenever we talk, he's always telling me about his new dates and other girls Wow, this so is this up, eh. sorry, sorry. Uh, this, yeah. sorry, I, I you angry, yeah, you angry, okay, okay. okay So this obviously means he's not interested in me Yeah, obviously By the way, we have known each other for years And until now, he still never lets me pay and still insists to drive me around Do guys really treat girls that they are not interested in this well? Or am I so far into the friend zone that he has no choice but to treat me well? I'm not saying I don't appreciate all his kind gestures. I am just a bit confused as to why he's treating me so well when we are so obviously just friends. Okay, girl, girl. Hey. Okay, let's 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 unpack this moment. Let's yeah. unpack this you, you're getting ready to fight already. Yes. Okay, so I have this definition, right? There's this group of guys who are labeled as the nice guys. Okay. Okay, like open inverted commas. Because right, they obviously have a motive. They treat all the girls, right, that are like that they are open to really really nice just so they can keep their options open yes. and all the girls will wonder oh is it he like me so that he can always have a spare tire if one doesn't work out there are some guys that they are this in here they said at least they are like never mind i just treat everyone nice then i confirm pao jia one he said safety net yeah so yeah. it's like oh if i confirm i will get at least one very selfish right? very selfish. it is very selfish like he just cares about his own goals right yeah. and what he wants to achieve he don't care right that he's playing with the hearts of these girls mm. Very annoying. I would say it doesn't really show that he's treating her more than a friend, eh, honestly. It's like, not as crazy as the yeah, previous the example. Yeah, the previous one. Yeah, but but you, what you mentioned is actually... Yeah, yeah and then the cool, picks uh. me up and drives me home so I don't have to take the MRT. And then them living at the opposite side of Singapore. I think it's just, he's just uh, okay to do that because he has a car. Okay, but this one, okay, this one... Okay, is, this one a bit fine. It's a bit, a bit... A bit over like, the boundary, yeah, 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 a bit yeah. la. A bit, but the rest right is honestly like 
like a guy friend, something a guy friend would do, not necessarily like yeah. someone who likes you will do one. Yeah. So this girl, right, she might, there's a chance you are overthinking things a little bit. I feel right, uh, firstly, it says here that you guys know each other for years. So I'm not sure years is like 1.5 is two years. You know, maybe it's like 10 years. I don't know how long. Uh. If it has been going for like three, four years, five years even, right? Then this is a serious red flag, really. Yeah. Say, for example, you know each other for years, three years. Three years is actually, if you say three years, right, within this period, right, you only meet up like once a month or once every three months. Mm. I think still okay. Yeah. If the frequency is like weekly, uh, wow, then this guy is a T bike. But if it's like every the guy the guy is like, hey wala, uh, every three months one time only, then treat you okay what? Uh, then yeah, then I yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah, then, yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. That's a valid point. But as much as we wanna like as much as what the guy may be doing is a dick move, right? Mm. Um I do need to say that the guy's not a mind reader. Cause a uh. lot of the things here are assumptions. Uh if you don't tell the guy right he might not know because common sense is not common. So your definition of common sense, right, might be different from someone else. So, true la. you know, you cannot true, assume true. that, I mean, it applies to every relationship. Um, the girl cannot assume that the guy is a mind reader and vice versa. So you need to talk to that person. I tell you, this guy firstly, right, from from what, okay, although yes, it, the, what does the, the things that he, he's doing, right, it's still considered quite, you know, quite borderline past la. Mm. I would say it's still okay. But you must understand you do even if let's say even if now I say hey Brenda you want me to fetch you home? Ah, I tell oh. you people will be like but people will be like hey, whoa what's up? Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. You need to have this I, I know common sense is mm. not common. But I think this is way below common sense. Yeah, really, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's like you do something nice to someone <laughs> repeatedly. Of course you are are you hoping for a reaction or what, what are you hoping for? Yeah. You know, what's the outcome? But I don't know what he's think, thinking. Yeah. Is this guy the mind? He might is, be interested in you but Oh, He's trying to play some crazy methods. Imagine right now having together play all these methods already. Imagine <sighs> when you're together. Oh my god. He will play all the other methods to, you know, to yeah, yeah, I have yeah. friends who have own five phones, ah. Okay, so there are people five options, right? He's not five options. He five option all he want. <laughs> I have friends like that. Yeah. I have friends like that. Why 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 you you okay? I'm angry. Yeah, yeah, it's it's actually quite common. Then you think. Not like common common. <laughs> Wait the fuck up! Okay, that's all I have to say to the guy. Moving on. Moving on. Confession 3. How to get out of the friend zone. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. How? How? Mm. Ask the dog people. Ask the dog people. Please help. So the girl I've been texting for a few months recently keep broing me despite going out for one-on-one -on -one dates. We do not text as much now. How do I go beyond this friend zone? Or should I just let her know my feelings and move on? Sigh. All my efforts gone down the drain. Whoa. This is the number one most important yeah. thing, okay? In love, in relationship, okay? The the effort and the rewards is always not equal. Okay. So That's you cannot good. say, oh, all my effort down the drain. There is no such thing as you give effort, that means you're, you must receive something. Yeah, oh yes, In yes, love, yes. It's, no, it's not like that yes. one. Oh! In Chinese, they call it uh, 付出跟回报不能成正比 So you must understand this. If you don't, right? then this whole thing is wrong really. Yeah. You will forever yeah. feel upset for the things that you don't get in return. Correct. I feel like the do not text as much now is a sign. Because yep. if she's interested, she will, y'all will be texting yep. lah. Mm. And obviously it's not reciprocated. So, uh, how to get out of the friend zone? So sorry, but you are stuck inside with behind bars really. So, I would suggest just if if it, if the combo dies dies down, then die lor. Then just don't don't talk yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yourself time. Perhaps after a few months or a few years, then see whether you guys have fit again to meet again and see whether you can click again. If still cannot, right? Then, then really it is what it is. One part that stands out is that she recently keep broing me despite going out one to one on a few dates. Mm. So do you think a girl calling a guy bro means that she bros on him already? Uh, I say no. Um, because I feel like when I call you like maybe different girls got different definitions but for me like when I say bro it's like I'm just very comfortable with you and like it doesn't mean that it doesn't necessarily mean that there's no chance to oh. be together moving forward you know? so I would say bro is not like a literal like not like a literal sense la. it's like a a figure of speech in your Correct, way. correct. But that's for me. But for some yeah, other so girls, it might be a tactic to bro zone people. I don't really take the bro thing too seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, for me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I say like... Why? 
Oh wait, that was aggressive for my time. Oh, why? Because my ex right also called me bro. Ah, uh, see? I mean, before that and after, it's still the same, mm -hmm. you know. It's like so I understand that. Oh, actually, it's a way or it's like her method of you know using uh, words and stuff. I have to admit that sometimes I will use it. Uh, last time, now, mm. now, now, no more. But like, um, if I'm really not interested in the guy and I cannot bear to like say it to his face, mm. I will use that tactic. Sure, bro can mean like both ways. But the main thing about this uh, story is that we don't text, we do not text as much. Yeah. So it's really like everything is going stale already. Uh, how do I go beyond this friend zone? You, do, uh, you can go beyond, uh, you you go backwards. <laughs> you back out, go beyond. Uh. Yeah, you are still out of the friend zone, right. but you go out. Yeah. You just say bye. Just say bye bye. Maybe, ch maybe in the future you'll have a chance to reconnect again. Confession number four Still have feelings after being rejected. Oh, man. Aren't we all, man? Man, everyone can relate. Yeah. Okay. I need some life advice. Okay, then, uh... Thank you for the <laughs> <laughs> About a year ago, I got closer to this girl at school where we would text a lot and video call very frequently. Eventually, I confessed to her and her reply was, not ready for a relationship. Just want to be friends. Being the relationship amateur that I am, first serious crush. Oh, oh first one. I distanced myself oh my from her by not interacting with her in order to avoid the awkwardness and pain from being rejected. I used to check in on her frequently, but stopped so from that point onwards. I think it's a good move. Yeah, it is a it's good a good move. move. It's he a very won't self isolate. He selfless. Mature. Yeah. yeah. Fast forward a year on, I now have to see her daily at school but she seems to actively avoid me. Upon asking, she said she wants to be defensive and wishes to distance herself from guys. Uh, AKA probably just me because I know she still remains friendly to her other guy friends from school. Hmm. Was it a big mistake to not talk to her? Okay, bracket. I still have feelings for her. Why is she acting this way? You still have feelings for her and her acting that way has no no link no link no cor correlation yeah. well, no correlation yeah. so you can still have feelings you can wow you're feeling like off the charts also she will just continue to do what yeah. she feels right the first problem here is that you guys text and video call a lot yeah yeah and uh, lo and behold I also did this before oh yeah, and the girl is like from overseas ah okay but yeah. the one is popular what like you have to text and video call to no, talk no you can still text ma oh. No, but we, we text and video call a lot. Okay. So, but so it's because you like her la. Eventually, I confess it to her and I reply you was not ready her. for conf confess to her. <laughs> so, so mean yet. <laughs> so, I, I would think la, from a girl's point of view, maybe the girl just found comfort in talking to you and like video calling for that period. That do right. doesn't necessarily mean she likes you. Right. You know, like mm. she just, oh, okay, like there's someone um by her side. Why not? Mm. Yeah, she didn't really think too much into yeah. like whether she will or he will have feelings for her lah. So maybe when the guy confessed to her, right, then it shocked her. And she's probably that kind of girl. Um, I I've met a lot of friends like that. Once a guy confessed to her and she's not interested, right, she will shut her doors. So cannot even be friends. Yeah, I think quite common because yeah. I have also a lot of friends like that. Okay, I understand putting this one putting there for serious crush, and like of course you'll still have feelings for her. These feelings won't fade that fast, but you need to make the more mature decision mm. to take a step back and don't yeah, and don't did. insist on being persistent and then like going to talk lah. So I think it's a good move that you kind of stop talking to her. Actually, a lot of people's first crush is always crush one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's how you learn in yeah, life. Yeah, it's, right? it's very common lah. Not it's everything will go your way. You are now a rat in a cage right? They just have a the nip of the, the, the crackers only. You're like, wow, this is the best cracker. But outside got hamburger, got, got fan oh. fries, you don't know ni. <laughs> you just have to get out of the cage. Then you know they are like a lot better work out there. Wow. Really? Trust me. Hey, very good analogy. I like how you break it down yeah, like into layman terms. I understand why. Love, yeah. love the story. It. Love it, love it. <laughs> the mistake you have made is to continue talking to her. Correct. Uh, there's a certain boundary and certain line that you cannot cross. If not, people will feel like, oh my god, you are in the realm of storm. Ah, yeah. Guys, really. Respect the boundaries she has set for yeah. herself. She's gonna be fine alone, don't worry. Um, she got her parents or family to check in on her. Lah. We have a bonus confession. Okay, mm. this one is not really like a confession, but this person really went out of the way uh, to write an entire song about his or her friend zone experience. Guys, it is so long, okay? It is like four paragraphs long. We found this line that really summarizes this entire friend zone experience quite well. You are so in love with this idea of our love. love. It's a shame that you believe that it will come. Wah, deep. 
Wow. Deep but very true. Like this person keeps believing that this like friendship love will turn into something more than that, but no, it will never come. I would say like being in a friend zone is very, very common. Um, it is not something that I feel like everyone in their life, right? One point in their life, right? They'll be friend zone. Mm. So it's just like part and parcel of life to go through like this kind of Correct. ups and downs. Yeah. Overall, as it is with life, right? Mm. There are different types of friend zone experiences yeah. also. So for this episode, we covered four different types, but yes. I, I know that like, there are other different like friend zone yeah. situations that happen all the time. Like. If you are giving mixed signals, right? Honestly, then it's fucked up. up really. yeah. yeah. But if you did nothing and like, oh, I friends on you, but I did nothing. It's very hard to reach out people. I feel it's still okay. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this episode of Zula Answers. If you have any other, you know, the whispers mm-hmm. la, comments la, or all the questions la, or you can just send it to us. Or if you see it somewhere else, just mm-hmm. let us know. Then we will still react uh, very unprofessionally. Yeah, correct. And yeah. same, yeah, you also forget to tell them where to live. You can leave in the comments and tell us. Yeah? You can send uh, in a comment. You can even email. Oh uh, yeah. Up you to all you. do. Maybe one day we react to email confessions. Yeah. Comments, confessions, you'll never know. Yeah. Correct? Uh, the, the producer yeah, yeah. Like and it. if you <laughs> like this episode, uh don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>